The coveted gold balls are being handed out to the best basketball teams in the state at today's state championships. Jess Gagne has an update from the Cross Arena in Portland. It's Gold Ball Saturday, the first state championships to be handed out in Portland or to the teams from Class B. For the girls, the Trojans from MDI representing the North and facing Great New Gloucester from the South. The GNG crowd wore shirts to show support for former player Katherine Lewis, who is battling cancer. The Patriots jumped out to an early lead. Alexa Thayer with the jumper to put her team up by six. MDI kept pace and showed off some speed. Hannah Chamberlain gets to the hoop and gets the harm. MDI got within four in the second half, but G&G managed to stay a step ahead. Jordan Grant with the three-point play. The Patriots win their second gold ball in three years, 43-30. Senior captain Bree Jordan led the way with 17 points. It's always awesome winning a state title, but the fact that we were able to pull it out up the boys game. It's been 50 years since the Caribou boys have won a gold ball. A thousand Vikings fans made the 300 mile drive to Portland to watch the team in action and action they got. This game was neck and neck. Caribou freshman Michael Brigham with the big three to break a tie. But it was this three from Tanner Carpenter that tied the game at 42 in the fourth quarter and sent it to overtime. The Vikings fought hard in extra time. Senior Austin Finland gets the loose ball and passes to Parker Dupree for the three point play. But again, Cape comes up clutch. Quinton Morris with the lay in there, and this one went to double overtime. Caribou got it done at the line to take the lead, and with five seconds left, Cape tries to take it, but the ball doesn't fall. It's a celebration 50 years in the making. Caribou wins 49 47. Yeah, definitely, you know, it's a pretty long ride. It's, it's, it's crazy to see all these fans here. You know, it really means a lot to us. Our, our end goal is make it to the state championship, and you know, that we did. And so we, we came into the game just taking it easy, but knowing it was going to be a good one. Class AA hits the floor here tonight. We'll have an update for you on New Center, Maine at 11. In Portland, I'm Jessica Gagne, New Center, Maine. Now to the Cross Center in Bangor for girls Class D action. Reigning champs Southern Aroostook taking on Greenville. Junior Sydney Brewer looking for her 1,000th uh, point gets it the easiest way possible, knocking down a first quarter free throw. But Greenville's Jessica Pomelo looks to steal the spotlight away as she takes it to the bucket for the left lay-in. Southern Aroostook would just be too much. Sydney Brewer again with a putback. Southern Aroostook takes the gold ball home once again, winning 55 to 30. Here's what Sydney Brewer had to say after the game about scoring her 1,000th point. Yeah, I mean, I, I hoped I would get it in the, really early in the game, and I was glad that it was only one point, so I wasn't worrying about it throughout the game. And then once I got it, I was able to just let it go and to play my game. To boys, Class D, a sea of orange trucker caps in the stands as Forest Hills takes skank. The Tigers trying to remain unbeaten on the season. They got it going early off the hard drive and tough lay in from Dalton Gregoire. But the Skank Wolverines stuck around all the way down to the wire as Caden Hanan knocks down the triple. Parker Desjardins, however, wants that championship back in Jackman and hit the layup with the contact. Tigers keep their perfect season and knock off Skank 70 to 65. 